Hi, this is City Notes, a hyper-local interview series brought to you by the city of Nicholasville, where you'll get to know local leaders, catch community updates, and hear about the latest happenings from City Hall and beyond. I'm here with City Commissioner Dexter Knight. Mr. Knight, thank you for joining us. Thank you, Randall. I'm excited to be here. Can you tell us a little about your background and what about it led you to this role? I'm a lifelong resident of Jessamine County, grew up um, on the southern end of the county, so I've, I've experienced Nicholsville from, for the last almost six decades and seen a lot of changes and, and that type of thing. But what my background, I guess, would probably most folks know me as a high school ag teacher, most recently principal of our tech school in Jessamine County. Everybody calls it JCTC. It's the Jessamine Career and Technology Center, which I recently retired from. But I just obviously love Jessamine County, love Nicholsville. I've now lived in Nicholsville longer than I lived in the county. So I'm I'm a city resident, obviously, being a city commissioner and, and just have fallen in love with where I live and the folks that I live and work with. You know, my background, I think, lends itself to the fact that I've seen all the changes that, that we've experienced uh, in our county for, like I said, the last 50 years or so. We obviously are still continuing to grow and uh, evolve and really my, my role in, in terms of being a city commissioner would, would be to help really Nicholsville find its identity, who who we are as a city, firm up that foothold of being a, a community that uh, folks will not only live in, but work here, enjoy raising their families here, all those experiences that we want for now my children and my grandchildren that I had growing up as a, a Jessman County and, and, and now a Nicholsville resident. A college professor tell me once, you know, you're to some degree you're a product of your environment. That you know, Nicholsville and Jessamine County influence just really made me who I am. So while you're newly sworn in as a city commissioner, congratulations by the way. Thank you. I, I'm the new, new one on the block. Uh, everyone else has experience in city government, and I do not. So I'm my learning curve is going straight up. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah. So while you're new to the commission, you're not new to public service, though, from teaching to volunteerism. Do you think those experiences have influenced you? My retirement was in November and they, our school folks had a great little retirement event for me. And I did a lot of reflection in preparation for that retirement event. And I think about, you know, when I was a child, there weren't, uh, there weren't as many opportunities for uh, young people to do all the things that they do today. And that's I guess in a lot of ways, good and bad. I don't want to be that person that says, well, back in the day, you know, <laughs> when I reflected on my, my growing up, my raising, if you will, in, in Nicholsville and Jessamine County, I want to provide, help help the city provide some experiences for our young people. I'm, I'm a teacher at heart, uh, have been my entire life, professional career over 30, 34 years in public education. I now work at the University of Kentucky, helping mold the uh, some of our teachers that are uh, coming up in agricultural education and just the influence I think we have as adults in our community. I want, I want to have a positive influence on our young people because they are our future. So all those things that I've done working for the school system, volunteering in our community, uh, been on numerous uh, boards. And I'm not saying that to brag, but I'm just saying folks that really and truly, if you want to find out what Nicholsville is, who we are, get involved in some local committees and, and, and you know, get down in the weeds with uh, a lot of folks and do a lot of the work that, that folks do to make, make Nichols feel what it is. And that just has been a, a great benefit. I feel like everything I've done leading up to where I'm at now in my life has prepared me for that next step, that next journey. For those who don't know you, your platform, among several other points, included continuing to improve the infrastructure needs of our growing community and expanding opportunities to improve our downtown. What do you see as some of the highest priority issues for us? Well, I think infrastructure is um, probably the single most important thing that we as a, as a continuing to grow a city, uh, we need to make sure that if we can look in our crystal ball and see 10, 15, 20 years down the road and see what we possibly need that we can put in place now that will help with that. Because a lot of times, my experience has been we play, even if in the school system, whatever, a lot of times we play catch up. We, we think we have an idea, but then five years we've outgrown it. Uh, we don't have the, the basic needs there. So I want to make sure we're covering the basic needs with our infrastructure. And that's anything from streets, roads, sidewalks, opportunities for our young people to work with uh, our parks and rec system, 
to really provide a vibrant city and a vibrant county that folks really just are clamoring to be here. And, you know, if we can think about green space and park and all those uh, experiences that, you know, I had growing up, you know, we played sports and those type of things. And I think we have a great sports program for our youth. But let's look at the big picture and try and see some other things that we can do to provide opportunities for families once they are once they are grown up, if you will, they want to stay here. That that's a challenge. So I, I'm excited to work with some folks that have a lot of background in in uh, city government. Hopefully, they'll listen to maybe some new ideas that we all have and can share and bring to the table. Back to your question a little bit. Trying to anticipate growth, revitalize our downtown, and, and we've done a fabulous job. Our city's done a fabulous job with the infrastructure piece, with lights and street signs and that type of thing. And, I, and we've just recently acquired a, a grant for business owners downtown, trying to capitalize on those grant opportunities and, and look at ways to incentivize folks to come back uh, to downtown in, in ways that we can support that through better parking, shops, make it a destination. And I know our, our chamber and our uh, new tourism director, Charlotte Reed, is, is working on trying to bring some concerts back to Performance Park provide some really neat opportunities where it's a destination for folks and maybe a Friday evening in the spring or the summer. There's a lot of exciting stuff coming down the pike. I've heard about with the ARPA Absolutely. funds and the downtown grants and our tourism commission. Absolutely. Exciting. And let's, let's capitalize. Once again, I'm back to my, my, my student, put my student hat on, involve our students in some of those performances and, and really let them see the connection of what community is all about. They have an idea of what they think community is, but until they've lived a little bit longer and experienced some of those things to really and truly be a key player, you know, whether it be plays or whether it be concerts to really and truly plug them in to where they understand, yeah, this is what community is about. And I want to be a part of it. And I want to raise my family here. I liked how you put it earlier to get in the weeds with them a little bit. That's right. Get down and, and you know, get your hands dirty and, and uh, let's let's work together to if there is a problem let's try and solve the problem and, and really and truly uh, roll our sleeves up and get to work you've lived and worked in Jessamine county for the majority of your life and it's obvious you're really passionate about our community is there a nicholasville person place or thing that's especially been an influence in your life lately for me personally it's it's been a lot of people from the chamber to folks working in city government to our school system. We have a great school system. So it's a collection of our community folks. I can't identify one. If I had to go back lately, kind of really changes my answer. If I think in terms of historically, the, the Nicholasville of old, if you will, where we had the pharmacies and we had the stores downtown and where uh, everyone knew everyone, for example, um, Nicholsville Cafe is where Gertie and Gerald run that great restaurant. Uh, when I was a child, that was a department store. And my father would go in and Shelby Combs was the mayor of Nicholsville. And he ran this department store. And my dad would go in and would say, all right, Shelby, fix me up for Christmas for my, for my wife. Shelby would take care of uh, all those gifts. And I want to provide those type of experiences for, you know, we've got all the, nothing against all our box stores and our larger chain stores and that type of thing, but just really and truly try and revitalize some of those small shops and those connections. Uh, Alternative Jewelry does a great job with that, and they have for many, many years. Those type of shops that we can provide. So the people, the people of the community, those type of people that are trying to do that, that's who, that's who I think about. And, that, and that's probably who's influenced my decision to run for city commissioner. Well, Mr. Knight, thank you so much for all of your service, and I'm sure we'll see a lot more coming from you and the rest of the commission soon. Well, I'm so excited to be a part of it, and folks, please, uh, if you have something you feel like we need to work on, by all means, reach out to City Hall. Uh, I'm accessible by email at uh, dexter.knight at nicholsville.org. I'm excited to be working with the community, with city government, and with the residents of Jessamine County and Nicholsville.